Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're here at um, Pete's Egg Arm Farm and uh, I'm here to show you a rather special rifle which is the um, Red Wolf Siri Rosso which is one of 200 made as a special um, edition run by Day State and uh, it does actually come in this rather impressive Red Wolf limited edition case so that's the hard case that it comes in um, <coughs> just open that up I was quite eager to see this rifle because uh, although of course Day State their, their latest business model is to sort of have um, quite regular limited edition specials um, when I first saw this it's very striking with its red and grey laminate so let's take a look so as you get this you would get a certificate um, to actually show this is, this is actually 001 so it's the very first one um, apparently it's going to be going to the um, the owner of Day State now so it's a, he's a lucky chap so we're going to be rather careful with the gun that's the certificate you'll get um, with the sort of factory test details you get a manual um, here which is very good actually quite comprehensive I mean it needs to be comprehensive because there's quite a lot going on with this rifle you get a charger um, which is for the battery although I should point out it's thousands of shots apparently with these before you need to re um, worry again about charging the battery so but obviously you get that as part of the package um, you get a charging adapter or two with it so <clears throat> here we are the Red Wolf Siri Rosso so it's the red and uh, grey laminate. These are made by Minelli in Italy, which of course have sort of become the factory standard. Um, but this is particularly stylish. There's a lot of contours and special sh um, shaping going on here. You've got a um, sort of pistol grip cap there. That does actually um, hold the, that's like a little um, opening underneath that, which where the battery actually sits. Um, you've got a lot of, special features here you've got the carbon fiber uh, bottle um, it's, it's a carbon fiber shrouded barrel you've got the very delicate beautifully engineered um, side lever which now all comes as part of these rifles uh, you've got an adjustable uh, stock so you've got st fine stippling on the pistol grip with finger contours you've got an adjustable fully adjustable cheek piece so to, to adjust that you're slacking off the main bolt there for elevation up and down to get your eye scope relief perfect but inside also if you take the whole cheek piece panel out there's lateral adjustment as well so it's, um, it's all been well thought out um, and then you've got the three-way adjustable um, butt pad at the back there again you can slacken that bolt for up and down but remove that completely and underneath you can also slacken a bolt and you will get um, you can off offset the cant on it as well the the cast rather so there's a lot of um, adjustment built in um, also on this you've got special edition you've got specially uh, engraved um, on engraved stuff on the breech blocks you've got the manufacturer there you've got Siri Rosso there uh, on the other side you've got the Red Wolf quite impressive Red Wolf logo special edition all on there so there's a lot of nice detailing going on here. Uh, while we're looking at that, you've also got a display screen. Of course, this is one of the electronic um, specials that Day State have sort of pioneered. Um, so in, on this model, you've got at the back there, you'll press that bar across. That's effectively an on-off switch, if you think of it that way. And now, I don't know if you can see inside that display, that then shows various bits of information. And in there, you'll get residual cylinder pressure so I think that's showing, I've shot this obviously on a full test, that's showing 137 bar at the moment. Um, you'll charge this up to between 210 and 230 bar. I've done 210 bar because that's what they specify. They actually do now specify per model at day to day. And they put a little disc in on the breech block. Um, so they're saying this one's been tested and it works well at 210. Um, that's what I charged it at. Um, for, and the, again, other information in there, you can have it set to show... Um, the, uh, the, there's a power setting as well if so you've got low and high power um, I've just set this to high power but obviously if you set it to low power you're going to get a lot more shots <coughs> I'll just turn that off for a moment now on the shot count front obviously with these buddy bottles traditionally you get a lot of shots out of a buddy bottle with these it's um, around about um, 450 to 500 I think in 2.2 calibre you're getting around 500 
um, 450 and 177. So that's almost a tin, that's pretty well a tin of pellets before you've even got to worry again. Um, <clears throat> trigger wise, you've got an electronic trigger there. So um, they use solenoid for that and you've got, it's just the actual contact point that will then release. And there's full adjustment on here for sort of first, second stage and um, trigger blade uh, positioning, etc. Um, the cap is threaded to take a silencer. <clears throat> and then, um, as I say, charging is done underneath there. I think you can see that. You've got a small um, magnetic cap. You just pull that off and then your um, airline cable will push onto that. Uh, that's my only complaint with this rifle, actually, that they, the recess is very shallow there. And once you put a sort of foster um, coupling on there, it's quite uh, fiddly to, to pull it off again. But I'm nitpicking because this is a pretty, pretty gorgeous gun. So the magnetic cap just snaps back on once you've charged it and you're away. Um, so as I say, it's a multi-shot with the 10-shot magazine there. All you do to cock it once you're on, pull the lever back. You're not actually cocking anything there. You're just, um, there's no real resistance. Slide the magazine out. That comes out from the left. It's got a magnetic pull on it, um, which I've had on other models. So the magazine's actually pulled into its slot, which is quite neat. And then you've got Day State's conventional 10-shot um, magazine cassette. <coughs> so once you've filled that in, that just drops in. Close your lever, and then you're away. I'll just fire that off. Um, <coughs> where are we? 177, 22 and 25 calibre, this is available in. Uh, as I say, this is the special, the Siri Rosso. It is actually two and a half thousand pounds, so we're talking um, significant money. But there's a market for um, day state specials and indeed premium air guns these days. Um, this that's the one in 200 model, but day state are doing a production run of a standard Red Wolf, and that is <coughs> 1800 to 1950 um, as far as the uh, retail price, dependent on your stock. Um, so there we are, that's the Red Wolf Siri Rosso.